The Gallatin, Tennessee plant of Hagenus Corporation is the single largest iron powder production facility in the world. Located northeast of Nashville, the plant has been in operation since 1979. The facility is capable of producing 300,000 tons of annealed powder per year. Powdered metal from the facility is used in the manufacture of components for automobiles, off-road equipment, power tools, welding products, and in various environmental applications, among other things. Gallatin's powder is shipped to over 300 customers worldwide, including 30 other GKN facilities within the corporation. The raw material used to make steel in an electric arc furnace is purchased recycled steel scrap. This scrap is loaded into buckets that are then transported to the melt shop building housing the electric arc furnace. The melt shop converts this scrap into atomized powder utilizing electric arc furnace technology. Buckets of scrap are charged into the furnace where electrical and chemical energy in the form of oxygen are introduced along with carbon, lime and other fluxing agents in order to melt the steel scrap. Once the scrap becomes liquid, the carbon content of the molten bath is adjusted and the temperature is raised to approximately 3000 degrees Fahrenheit in order for the heat to be tapped. Once tapped, the heat is subsequently processed through a ladle furnace to refine the heat for optimal chemistry and temperature characteristics. The heat is then brought to the atomizing deck where the liquid steel is teamed into a high velocity, high pressure annular jet of water to form a powder. This powder is then conveyed to subsequent processes that dewater, dry and classify the material for the annealing operation. Finally, after annealing, the powder is screened and sized for its particular end use and packaged into appropriate containers for shipment domestically or overseas. That's the manufacturing process at the Gallatin, Tennessee plant. Now, here's an overview of the environmental project that's the subject of today's presentation. The Gallatin plant received approval in 2004 to purchase and install an oxygen and carbon injection system or modules to assist the melting process of the electric arc furnace for a capital cost of 1.3 million US dollars. The system was manufactured by Moray, an Italian company specializing in this type of equipment. The installation and commissioning was completed in early 2005. The module system utilizes fixed wall injectors for efficiently injecting oxygen and carbon into the arc furnace at multiple locations around the sidewalls. This allows the scrap charge to be preheated and melted in the early stages of the melt cycle. The system then injects carbon and oxygen to heat the molten bath with chemical energy, replacing the more expensive electrical energy formerly used. It also has the capabilities of flushing impurities from the melt as well as creating a foamy slag. The foamy slag is a practice that creates a carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide enriched slag that engulfs the electric arc and directs the energy of the arc down into the liquid metal bath to promote more efficient heating. The modules have the additional benefit of protecting the furnace walls and roof from the detrimental and inefficient radiant heating that occurs without slag foaming. The Mori module system has reduced the electrical consumption of the electric arc furnace by approximately 16 million kilowatt hours per year through efficient melting utilizing the foamy slag process and the substitution of chemical energy for electrical energy. Liquid metal yield has improved 1% through better carbon control and arc furnace hazardous dust generation has been reduced by approximately 470 short tons per year. Total annual net savings from the use of the Moray module system has proven to be approximately 900,000 US dollars annually. This annualized savings includes the savings from increased yield, reduction of arc furnace dust disposal costs, and the net savings from the substitution of chemical energy for electrical energy. That concludes today's environmental presentation from Hagenus Gallatin.